Now, your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. We are looking at the uh, beginnings of a heavy rain scenario. We've been watching this carefully during the course of the day today, and right now it looks pretty good here in Corpus Christi. Uh, looking downtown on your weather bug across the bay, well, 92 degrees, a strong south-southeasterly wind now, 20 miles an hour, with 13 hundredths of an inch of rain so far. But look at this. Where it has been raining, uh, these streaks of moisture have been significant. Let me give you an idea about some of the heavier rain pockets uh, uh, in and around Beeville, some parts of the area in excess of two inches of rain. We've been watching this pile up and uh, it's going to continue in that track as the dynamics of that cold front uh, moves into range. We will start to see um, more watches and warnings possibly in our western counties maybe aerial flood advisory over portions of b and san patricio county in the next couple of hours and the reason is we're watching these bands of rain moving on in you can see them streaming basically from south to north across our region and these favored areas of precipitation uh, that's the area that we're going to be seeing the biggest problems during the next day or so. So that's what we're going to be watching. You can see the rain cooling already having occurred in some of these areas uh, where you have that lighter orange color. But the moisture is abundant in the region. Dew points in the middle to upper 70s, pretty much area wide. So where it's not raining, you've got a heat index issue, 100 and 110. Uh, what it feels like where it is raining. It's very comfortable except it's incredibly wet. A lot of this is being caused by that cold front, the one you've been hearing about so much, knocking temperatures way down. In fact, temperatures in the 40s over the northern high plains and uh, behind the front back in the cooler air in the 50s for the most part. But the moisture streaming up over that front it's being forced aloft and producing those thunderstorms we'll see that again tomorrow as that front moves into our area we'll see the same dynamics going on here so we're looking at a pretty good rainfall event pretty much area wide as a result of the cloud cover and uh, the precipitation we're going to see a cooler day tomorrow as well but look at some of these anticipated rainfall totals and this is not an isolated model that i'm decking in here um, four or five of these high resolution models are all calling for areas of heavy rain during the next 30 hours or so so you need to be ready for that watch your low water crossings and especially at night in the early morning hours when it's difficult to see as the upper level disturbance moves on out we'll see the precipitation thin out by late Friday and on through the weekend um, it'll give us a little time to recover from that our next disturbance moves in Sunday night into Monday to give us another dose of significant rainfall so we're going through kind of a wet weather period here where we're going to make up a lot of our rainfall deficits and have some pretty good rainfall totals. This is what we really need around here. What we're looking at for tonight is the temperatures to remain in the upper 70s and then as we move on into the day tomorrow we're going to see the rain begin to increase. Now that's going to be the important factor how we deal with the rain uh, not only tonight and tomorrow but for river rises and things of that nature. It looks like a pretty nice weekend coming up with temperatures back in the lower 90s, but another opportunity for rain and thunderstorms Monday and Tuesday. So be prepared. Watch out for low water crossings tonight and tomorrow and again early next week. Drew? Bill, thank you. The